Hello everyone, it's, uh, it's late night, but I just felt that um, I would still want to make the video about the fourth chapter in the book um, while I still, still have all the thoughts in my head, because this chapter is called Kill for Love and it was very difficult to write it and uh, all those heavy themes that you encounter in this um, they they really it's all about how you approach them which wasn't really easy for me uh, it's the longest chapter so there are quite many themes going on but the most important is the the, the focus of the chapter, or, or the main character, you could say, is Veala, because she is the older uh, sister, but um, she is just reaching her puberty, and she has to learn so many things about the world, and how unpredictable it can be. And there are so many things that are happening to her and she has to find out how to get through that um, how to deal with these unpredictable things that she wants to be like a good soldier she wants to be the leader she wants to be a strong person but everything that happens to her just shows her how unprepared she is let it be just uh, finding her true nemesis her sort of idol and opponent who is lotus and also her best friend at the time who is zabriel and all of these characters including the boy that she falls in love with they are there to show her that you just can't really expect things to be the same that things just won't be easy and that the world just will not revolve around you because like anybody can just die at war or they can just go crazy without any explanation and without any sort of influence that Viala can have and I drew a lot of these ideas from my own personal life because I also had friends who <clears throat> just just out of nowhere they completely turned around like I thought that I knew them and that they were decent people but then just in a snap they just became someone totally different and uh, in this book it's quite exaggerated but that was my whole point just to show that there are things that are beyond our control and our understanding and it can be very difficult, but it's not like these things are only happening to us. It can happen to anybody. And it, this somehow collides with her own desires and ambitions. So <clears throat> she, she didn't really expect to fall in love with someone, to, to have these sexual thoughts and how to deal with uh, like best friends wanting to kill her or try to kill her or I mean uh, to kill someone that is uh, important to her or uh, just having to deal with her father and his disappointment and just wondering if she is really good enough for this that uh, if she can do it in life without her mother so the, the most focus of this chapter is on Veala and she does so many mistakes and stupid things but that's the way it was meant to be so uh, I wouldn't really change anything about it and it helped me to understand and explore quite many topics even if you don't really understand um, like the reasons behind how she acted then this is the, the point where you start thinking about it yourself and come to your own conclusions. Because, especially if you are young, you have no idea where your behavior will lead, like what 
certain things can mean and uh, like how to deal with uh, your parents trying to enlighten you on certain topics like drugs uh, which brings me to Corden even though he is sort of a background character he still has to deal with all these things that his daughters do uh, not just Bayala but also Silveria who is also uh, taken upon her own hubris and arrogance and her how to say like haste uh, hastily made decisions so he has this whole weight of the world on his shoulders and yet still he has to deal with trying to explain more about the future and what is expecting of his girls or uh, what uh, what does it mean uh, to to be uh, to be responsible for so many important things or why it's bad to abuse drugs so this also pushes him to a certain uh, new new ideas or new say new ways to deal with things Silveria of course uh, she is uh, she's already capable of making her own decisions even though most of them turn out quite bad but I mean that's that's where the conversation between him and his girls pretty much leads to that he lets them do all these mistakes and he will let them do them because they just there's so much expected of them and it's better to make mistakes while you're still young and when you don't have so much influence like he does and but with Silveria it was mostly about the loneliness that she feels inside because because Gordon just lives with this idea that okay um, you have this safety you have this house and all the things provided to you what more would you want I mean there is war out there and people die and they, they don't have anything and they, they lose all their precious possessions and uh, and people who are dear to them you know so what more do you want but uh, that's just how it is when you're raising a girl especially who needs some sort of emotional connection which neither of the girls get and they have to look for it else, elsewhere Vela with her friends and uh, Silveria with her father but he just doesn't know how to reach out to her and he doesn't really have time for her so she she becomes angry she's trying to deal with it somehow and tries to find her own purpose and her own way of discovering things you know maybe even try to escape from this world uh, by reading books and imitating the the heroes that she reads about which uh, way back before the internet and movies that's how it was uh, people read a lot and found so much inspiration in, in, in the heroes in the books but the thing is that with these fictional stories uh, they just don't tell you how it works in the real world like what the consequences can be that, that somebody can even die because you make um, uh, unreasonable decision so that was that was the main point of this chapter and uh, I hope that you will uh, you will you will get something from it that you will maybe it will make you think that uh, about certain topics especially if you are a young person and uh, you, you may feel like you know everything already but you will find out that the more you believe that then less true it is and that's even that's even more important to people who are temperament who who just um, can act impossibly who who can easily give into anger that uh, sometimes it's best to like hold your emotions back to to control yourself and that's something that Vayala struggles with a lot. So, uh, yeah, there, there are so many themes in, the, in this chapter, uh, like, like uh, having to deal with disappointing your parent, 
but uh, yeah it's it's all laid out in there so i hope that you will enjoy reading it and it will be of some use to you so thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one have a great day